Hi, my name is Dan Sheridan, and this is Project 47XXY. Project 47XXY is a continuation of something that I've been doing for a long time, a blog all about Kleinfelter syndrome. Kleinfelter syndrome is a genetic condition that affects 1 in 615 live male births across the UK and around the world. Um, it's basically when you are born with two sets of chromosomes, so normal people, well, girls are XX, guys are XY, and in my case I'm XXY. So what is the project? So the project is a place where people can come together and share their stories on Kleinfelter syndrome and their experiences with discovering it. Um, and it should be a place where it's free and people can come along and ask questions in an open, friendly environment. We're in the age where information is free, social, and I understand that it's not a condition that everybody wants to talk about and some people prefer to go and talk to a specialist. That's cool, but there's a lot of people out there who don't even know that they've got it. I was going along for 31 years of my life, had no idea that I had this condition. And it was only after fertility treatment that I found out that I had this um, syndrome. Um, a little bit of background on me. I'm 33 at the moment. I was diagnosed with it when I was 31 after myself and my partner were trying for children for about a year and a half. Um, it's always that strange thing, you know, you try and nothing happens, kind of thing, what the hell's wrong with me? Um, the other half gets grumpy. Um, and you have to make that call and go to see a doctor. So I went to see a doctor, gave a sample, um, came back, gave a second sample for a second opinion, and then um, I got referred to a hospital where, again, you have to give another sample. But this time, um, the doctor asked for blood. So in my case, they did a chromosomal analysis to um, make sure that everything was fine on a genetic level, and this is where that they discovered uh, Kleinfelter syndrome, aka 47XXY. So when I was told, um, it was a massive shock because, you know, one of the big things are that um, you are infertile, so you can't have children, your body doesn't produce sperm. Um, there are cases where the body might produce sperm, um, but it's only retrievable through an operation, and it's a uh, 60% chance that they will be able to extract sperm and you'll be able to father a child. Um, so I had a lot to think about, my partner I had a lot to think about and he, through various moments of sadness and depression um, we decided to part company and I decided to go off and discover myself um, as somebody living with Kleinfelter syndrome. You know, I was growing up, um, I kind of thought I was a little bit different to the other kids. They were all going through puberty, I wasn't going through puberty. Um, I was teased a lot about not having le hairy legs and hairs on my body and I wasn't able to grow a moustache. So I've been taking medication for about six months now, uh, since January. And um, I just want to show you some of the changes that have happened to my body whilst I have been on the medication. Don't worry, it's not anything that's not safe for work. Um, so um, yeah, have a look at this and um, see you in a minute. So um, every morning I have to apply testosterone gel, um, normally after a shower um, and apply to the midsection here. Um, so I've been doing that since January and um, this is what the um, medication looks like. It comes in a pump. Uh, it's very easy. You can just take it out, squirt it onto the hands and then apply it to the abdominal. And you have to make sure that it's all the way in takes about 15 to 20 minutes to dry in completely. And normally in that time just wait around. Um, it's one of the reasons why I'm normally quite late to work because um, every morning 
get up and do this. Could have got up earlier, but I don't. Make sure it's all in. And then wash it up. My hands. So, like I say, I've been doing it for six months, and previously I didn't have any hair whatsoever on my body. And as you can see here, the medication's working, and I'm starting to get hair around the belly button and very very small hairs going up the abdomen and up towards the chest that's been about me on six months something else that you might see as well is um, got little hairs here I never ever used a razor until about six months ago um, had a shave um, probably about three or four days ago and then this is what's grown um, starting to grow quite sporadically now across my face um, around the moustache area getting spots because of it but yeah you can see that the treatment does kind of work and um, I'm really happy with the results um, hopefully in about <laughs> another six months time I might have a bit more um, so that'd be really cool Hi it's me again um, hope you um, can now see um, a little insight into my daily life. Um, there are a few other ways in which um, the medication has helped. It's improved my concentration at work massively. Um, I don't feel tired or lethargic anymore. I feel full of energy. I'm getting interested in um, sports. It might just be a mental thing, you know, so much positivity around me um, is always a good thing. Um, noticed other areas as well, particularly in the libido area. Um, have a read of my blog, there's um, a couple of interesting pieces which um, I try to write in quite a comical way so not to get bogged down with the nitty gritty but um, certainly an interesting read. There are so many other ways that you can get involved if you um, can't contribute is talk about the project on Twitter, link to it on Facebook, link to it on Reddit, say you've just learned about something today, I learned about this project. Um, email people, tell people at work, maybe someone might come out of the woodwork and say, you know, oh my god, I've got this as well, and you know, it's, it's good to know that there's someone else out there going through the same thing. They might read through my blog and think, yeah, I feel the same way and find something to relate to. So I do really need your guys' help and support, and um, thank you very much. So this, this project is an awareness project, and um, what I'd really like you to do is if you can contribute um, and the contributions will be going towards building the infrastructure online um, campaigns around search and um, strategy online to you know really get it out there get get it under people's noses um, we also want to produce um, some literature which will send around to the um, local health bodies get them involved as well um, and also what I'd like to do is, you know, find people out there, you know, who are like me, who are wondering, and try and change people's minds, particularly within the health organisation, that, you know, the, these tests might be expensive, but they're worthwhile because I would hate to go through 60 years of my life and not know this and wonder why this has happened to me. Um, I mean, I'm quite fortunate that. I was diagnosed in my 30s, so I can still, you know, think, right, okay, I can do something about this. If you'd like to keep up to date with anything that I'm doing in terms of this project, the project can be found at www.47xxy.me, or you can follow me on Twitter, which is at project47xxy. Um, I really do hope you can support the project and um, continue watching me on my journey. I'm going to make regular videos as well so um, you can kind of see the changes. Hopefully I'll have a beard in six months which will be pretty cool um, and talk about other things as well which are affecting me. So um, see you later, bye! Thanks very much for 
watching my video and um, I hope that um, by doing this and putting myself on camera um, people will take notice and um, you know help me try and do something good for people in my situation and that's it.